Ever find yourself observing someone's behavior and wondering, do they like me more than just a friend? Attraction, an inherent aspect of human nature, is a complex and intriguing phenomenon. But what really sparks it? Well, let's dive into the psychology of attraction to uncover the mysteries behind it. First, let's consider the evolutionary theory of attraction. This theory asserts that our preferences are largely shaped by evolutionary pressures. For example, men might be drawn to women who display signs of fertility while women may find men who show indications of resourcefulness and protection more attractive. This is not to say that everyone's attracted to the same features, but it suggests that our attractions might be influenced by factors beyond our immediate control or consciousness. Then there's the similarity attraction theory. This theory proposes that we're more likely to be attracted to those who share similar values, beliefs, and interests with us. It's the old adage of birds of a feather flock together. It makes sense, right? When someone mirrors our worldview, we feel a sense of validation and connection making them more attractive to us. These theories might seem abstract but they're playing out in our everyday interactions. The evolutionary theory might explain why you find someone physically attractive, while the similarity attraction theory might shed light on why you feel a deep connection with someone who shares your love for classic literature or salsa dancing. Now it's crucial to remember that these theories are not definitive rules but rather, they provide a framework to understand the often perplexing realm of attraction. Every individual is unique, and so are their preferences and attractions. What one person finds irresistibly attractive, another might find merely ordinary. By understanding these psychological theories, you can better interpret signals and cues, enhancing your social interactions and connections. So next time you find yourself questioning if someone is attracted to you, remember these theories. They might just provide the answers you're looking for. Now that we've delved into the psychology of attraction, it's time to identify the subtle signs of attraction. These are the cues that slip under the radar, the nonverbal gestures and behaviors that reveal someone's interest in you. Let's start with prolonged eye contact. It's more than a polite exchange of glances. It's an invitation, a shared moment, a sign that someone is genuinely interested in you. It's the eye lingering longer than necessary, a gaze that speaks volumes about attraction. Next we have casual touches, you know those seemingly incidental brushes that electrify the air around you, a hand lightly placed on your shoulder, a playful nudge, or a comforting pat. These are not random. They are subtle invitations signaling a desire for closeness, but it doesn't stop there. Body language is a powerful communicator. An attracted person may lean in during conversation, mirroring your actions, or subtly orienting their body towards you. These movements may seem insignificant, but they're broadcasting a clear message. Then there's the vocal tone, a lower pitch, a gentle cadence, a softening of the voice. These are all indications of attraction. It's the auditory equivalent of a welcoming smile, a sign that says, I'm interested in you and what you have to say. However, it's important to understand that these signs can vary widely across different cultures, genders, and orientations. What's considered a sign of attraction in one culture might be seen as a sign of disrespect in another. Similarly, the way men express attraction might differ significantly from the way women or non-binary individuals do. It's crucial to be aware of these nuances to accurately interpret these signals. Remember, these signs are subtle. They're easy to miss if you're not paying attention. But once you know what to look for, you'll start seeing them everywhere. It's like learning a new language, the language of attraction. Recognizing these subtle signs is the first step towards navigating the complex world of attraction. By understanding these cues, you can communicate more effectively, deepen your connections, and avoid the confusion that often surrounds the question, do they like me more than just a friend? Understanding the signs of attraction is one thing, but distinguishing between mere politeness and genuine interest is another. It's a delicate dance, a subtle interplay of cues and signals that often leaves us second-guessing ourselves. But, fear not, there's a way to cut through the fog of uncertainty. Politeness is the social lubricant that smooths our daily interactions. It's characterized by a general sense of respect, cordiality, and adherence to social norms. Genuine interest, on the other hand, is a notch above. It's marked by an element of enthusiasm, a personal investment in the conversation, and a level of attention that goes beyond the basic requirements of courtesy. Misreading these cues can lead to awkward moments or missed opportunities, but by understanding the difference, you reduce the risk of misunderstanding. Watch out for the intensity of the engagement, the consistency of the attention, and the depth of the conversations. With these insights, you'll be better equipped to interpret signals correctly 
enhancing your ability to connect with others on a deeper level.